Hello and welcome to Devlog 8. I'm Ian Lindsay from Game Digits, and this week I'll be going through the modelling of the office, the new Blender tools that I've created, and also the dynamic object pipeline. But first, let's see if annoying the puppet still works. Quit messing around. I'm not into that. This is my personal bubble. You're all up in it. Stay out of my bubble. Great stuff. So if you remember from the last devlog, the tutorial environment was just temporary boxes. So let's change that by modeling a new office environment in Blender. Because I'm using a very specialized material technique described in devlog 3, it can take a long time to do the materials and the UV mapping that's required for the process. Therefore, I decided to write a Blender tool using Blender script, and this will automate quite a lot of the process. In this, there's a sub-texture grid where you can select the material. Next, there's automatic UV projection tools, which can project into the sub-texture space. Also, UV projection scaling was added so that the pixels can have a common size in the world. With this in place, the UVs can now be automatically bound within the subtextures within the image, and faces can be assigned textures just by using the grid and automatically project the UVs. I also added world space scaling so that the projected UVs have the same pixel density, no matter what size the face is. Therefore, there's a uniform pixel scale across the entire environment. So thankfully now, texturing the static environment is quick and easy. It's as simple as selecting the faces, selecting the subtexture from the grid, then automatically applying the UVs. The tool will then deal with the subtexture UV mapping, the world skill, and also the pixel density. So now it's time to texture the environment at lightning speed. Now we have the basic static office environment, it's time to dress it up with some dynamic objects. The pipeline is slightly different. I first model the objects in Blender, and then export the FPX file into Substance Painter. In there I create three textures which define the PBR material. In Unity I then created a custom shader which uses those PBR textures. So let's create a dynamic object, but let's do it at lightning speed. So now we have a dynamic object in Substance Painter. And unlike the static environment, each dynamic object has three PBR textures which are at high resolution. For this I've written a custom shader in Unity. It has vertex lighting on four dynamic lights. It also has PBR material data encoded into the channels of one of the textures. Also a normal map for bump mapping and reflections. And finally it is highly optimised for VR, especially the Quest. So now I have the dynamic object pipeline in place, the next step is to go through and model all the other objects that are just currently temporary boxes in the tutorial. And it looks like the puppet is taking full advantage of the tutorial session by getting you to make him a cup of coffee and a toasted sandwich. But you know, in this game, there's always one way of getting your own back. Hey, quit that. Quit messing around. I'm not into that. This is my personal bubble. You're all up in it. So that was Devlog 8 for the Puppet Hotel project. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in Devlog 9.